Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching The Ancient Magus Bride episodes 21 through 24. So I was planning on doing these Saturday, but I ended up not doing them along with a couple of other shows. Um, well, one other show, anyway. That being uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh... I just got really tired for some reason and uh, just went to bed after I did, uh, I think it was Pop Team Epic. Um, but looking forward to seeing these last four episodes. This is going to be all the way till the end of the series. Um, I don't know if the manga or the light novels go past this, you know, wherever this ends, but... If it does, maybe they have enough for another season. I don't know. I've been I've been enjoying it. I know it's taken me forever to finish it. Um, well, not exactly. I mean, the final episode just came out Saturday, so I'm kind of on time, but maybe just like two days late because it's Monday while I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, it's been a good show. Um, anyway. Uh, last episode, they had, you know, calmed the dragon down. Uh, it had broken out of the, uh, auction house and was flying around in the city. Um, but normal people, you know, they can't see these things. So it just looked like there was some weird thing going on with the moon. Like there was some streak going across it. Um... The plan was for, uh, oh man, um, Chise to drain the dragon's magic, and then, uh, Elias would keep her from, I guess, using too much, or taking too much, and killing herself. Um, however, when the dragon flew off... Uh, and they were getting ready to start. The dragon turned around and blasted Elias in the face with some fire. <laughs> uh, and he fell off the dragon. Um, so that only left uh, Chise, who continued with what she had planned to do, uh, taking off her bracelet and even dropping it into the water. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. Should have just put it in like your pocket or something. But, you know, whatever. It happened. No going back now. Um, so she does it, and the dragon collapses into the water. Then, um, oh god, what's the name of the her familiar? Uh, anyway, her familiar ends up going into the water to grab her and the dragon. And uh, when he pulls her out of the water and everybody sees her, she has this huge arm that kind of looks like it's, I guess it's like a dragon's arm, but not like so huge that it's uh, like bigger than her. I mean, it's kind of bigger than her body, but, <laughs> and it does look like it's got scales, so it's like a dragon's arm. It's got the claws and everything. Apparently she was cursed. Um... With some dragon curse or something. Um, it's apparently going to kill her. Uh, they don't know how long it's going to take before she dies, but this curse is eventually going to kill her. So, um, she ends up kind of, I don't know, sneaking out of the house one day to go and see a bunch of people she knows, you know, like the vampire and uh, a few others, I guess, just to speak with them, I guess, at least one more time before she passes away. I mean, they don't know how long it's going to be, so, I mean, she could still last an, a month or so, but with her having, I guess, a fragile body, it could be much, much less than that. Um, anyway, Elias was 
with her the entire time. I mean, he couldn't trust her not to leave the house. She's done it a few times. Um, and they end up going back to the house where this woman is waiting for them outside of the, you know, at the front door. Um, they invite her in, and I guess she was told by the auction house, I guess she had, she wanted some dragon's blood, but, uh, they weren't, they weren't really willing to give her any. Uh, she was gonna pay, but, you know, she say doesn't want to hurt the dragon or anything like that. Um, and then she notices her arm and asks to see it. And when she touches it, it kind of shocks her hand. But I guess she's a witch. So in this um, world anyway, witches deal with curses. You know, applying curses, taking away curses, stuff like that. Um, so she tries something. It doesn't work. But she says that if she comes to their, I guess... Um, what is it called, a coven or something like that, then, um, like, if she joins, they could help her. Um, Elias wasn't really having any of that, but she didn't back down and was like, look, you gotta let her make her own decision. <laughs> you gotta stop being so, uh, like, overprotective and let her make this choice. And then, you know, they part ways she goes and after a little while they both decide that it's best if she goes and joins the coven so that she can get her arm fixed um she say was willing to do it right away <laughs> but it was more getting Elias to agree or see anyway that it was the best option to cure her because at the moment they had nothing they didn't have any idea how they could cure her arm so if this can actually fix her then he's willing to let her do this um I think that's pretty much where it ends so I'm assuming it's just going to pick up right where it left off and uh can't wait to see what's going to happen uh so video is going to be located over here and the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. Uh, what do I have this at? Okay. Uh, 20. Okay. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1.